Hey guys, I'm Paul Bennett, the founder of Aerobotica, Canada's choice for drone training and consulting. If you haven't heard already, the new drone regulations drop today. These regulations will not come into effect until June 1st, but we've got you covered. Stay tuned with us and we're going to get you through that and get you ready for when they become effective. This video is to tell you about the top items in here that we want to let you know about right now. The first is the permitting system. There is a basic permit and an advanced permit. The difference between the permits, basic, you can fly more than 100 feet away from people in uncontrolled airspace. You can also fly if you're 14 years old and older. The advanced permit, you need to be 16 and older. You can fly in, in controlled airspace and you can fly closer to people, you can fly near them or even over them if you have the proper aircraft for that. The way you get these permits, the first thing that you're gonna to have to do is get familiar with the knowledge. You need to know the answers to the exams, so we recommend, of course, that you go with a training program like ours. We can cover you on both the basic and the advanced. Uh, we're going to give you all the knowledge that you need to get those exams passed. The second thing that you're going to do is go onto the Transport Canada website and you're going to take the exam. The basic, you take the exam, you get the permit. The advanced, you take the exam, you get a permit and then you're referred to actually take what's called a flight review. With a flight review, you're going to come to an organization like us and you are going to be reviewed by an expert to make sure that you know how to fly and you know how to conduct this mission safely. The second thing that you need to know about is that the SFOC or Special Flight Operations Certificate, that is how we've been flying for years, is mostly going to go away. It's not going to be needed in most situations. There are, however, some situations where you will need it. If, for example, you want to fly over a crowd of people or at some big event, you're going to need an SFOC, a Special Flight Operations Certificate, to do that. The next change is insurance will no longer be required. Okay? Insurance is special liability insurance for UAV. Now keep in mind, if anything goes wrong, you are still liable. So we still highly recommend that you have a million to five million dollars of insurance to cover you if anything does go wrong. Those are the top changes that we have to share with you today. If you keep an eye on us, we're going to be sharing a lot more over the next days and weeks so that you can really get familiar with the changes in regulations and how you're going to be able to work with them. All right, if you have any questions, any comments at all, please just leave a comment below. We'll get back to you as soon as we can.